we're gonna be getting into a leg workout. We're doing three separate groups with two exercises, and we're gonna start off with a warm up. The first exercise being skaters. Here for skaters, we're going side to side, pushing off of the toes, pretending we're running just sideways. Opposite arm, opposite leg, keep a good rhythm as we go through these reps, alternating side to side. Make sure we soften the knee, drop the hips, keep the feet under the hips, maximizing that balance, getting a few solid reps in, good tempo to it, good pace. Go the next exercise we're going into will be single leg bunny hops. One foot stays down, one is gonna hover the ground a little bit, and we're bouncing on the toes. The hands still stay in motion, small motion from the hands, bouncing on the forefoot, keeping that heel up, and keeping that arm, the arms moving, keeping them going, feeling that in the calf muscle, feeling that in the foot and ankle. It's tapping lightly, but repetitively. Nice and easy in place. Okay, good. Good, then we're gonna switch legs there. Same thing, other side. Pump those arms, tap that toe. We can go forward a little bit. We can move backward a little bit, but for the most part, we're staying in place, keeping that heel elevated and that toe down. Active breathing, active arms. There it is. By now, again, just feel those calves warming up, contracting and relaxing. Sit. Good. And then we'll set both feet down. Now we're gonna put that together. We're going into a double leg bunny hop. Both feet under the shoulders, both arms now. Almost like we're lifting ourselves up towards the sky. As we jump, we lift. As we land, we bring those arms back down. Alternating there, nice and easy. Picking things up a bit. Picking up the heart rate, picking up the sweat. Getting all those muscles we're gonna be using ready to go. And keeping that same consistency. About six or seven out of 10. And then we rest. All right, so now we're gonna get into our first block of exercises, two exercises. We will need our dumbbells for the first. So we'll grab our dumbbells here. We're going to be doing a reverse lunge. So both arms to the side, good grip on the dumbbells. We're stepping back, lowering ourselves down, coming up, driving that knee to the top. Back, down, drive that knee up to the top. We're gonna do 10 reps on each leg. Breathe out as we lift that leg, lunge, get the feet under you, drive up. Core stays braced, stay nice and upright, knee to the top. Down, tall, drive that knee up. We'll feel that in the quads, hamstrings, hip, it's higher. Boom, drive that knee up. Down, exhale, the top. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other leg. And down, back to the top. Drive that knee up. Keep it tall, keep it strong. Set a pace for yourself. Breathe through each rep. Down, up. The thing with the lunge, the tricky thing is as we're moving the leg, our brain is telling our body that we're moving out of place. So we're gonna make sure to slow it down, find your footing, Finish out strong. Sit. Nice and high with the knee. Bringing it to the sky. Finish. Two more reps. Sit. And on balance. Perfect. Now, the next exercise, we will keep our dumbbells. We're gonna be doing what's called a lateral lunge. For the lateral lunge, we can start tighter with our feet together dumbbells together as well. As we're stepping, we're gonna push those dumbbells down, hips are back to behind our heels, knee is bent, breathe out, come back to the middle. Step, push. Step, push, come back to the middle. Notice hips go back, hips come back to the middle. Hips go back, hips come in. So imagine we're separating the dumbbells from the thighs, moving them away, then they meet back at center, right at home base. Good here, again, more quad, a lot of glute, 
lot of hip. And then, perfect. We'll breathe there. Do the same thing on the other side. Obeying those same principles. Dumbbells start together. Feet are narrow. Step. Hips back. Right back to the middle. Get a good bend in the knee. Kind of stepping knee. And drive those hips back to the wall behind you. Breathing out when we come back to the middle. Step. Drive. Come back. Breathe. Excellent work. Again, we'll feel those legs starting to fire up, starting to work as we finish. Good. And then we'll set those dumbbells to the side, get a recovery in between, roughly a minute to a minute and a half. Let those legs recover, let the lungs recover as well, take some air in, and then we're gonna repeat for a second round. Okay, everybody, so after your rest, your minute rest after the first round, we're gonna get into the second round again of those reverse lunges with the knee drive. So we're gonna grab our dumbbells, right in a tall stance, arms relaxed to the side, good grip on the dumbbells. We're gonna make sure we stay nice and upright. And maintaining alignment, tall from top to bottom, driving that knee up. Good balance, good alignment. I'll be the focus this set. Good, and it will set both feet down. Same thing, other side. <clears throat> Big step. Drive the knee up. One thing we're gonna focus on on this side and we can look down for reps. I'm gonna pause at the bottom, making sure the knee stays in line with the toes, and does not drift towards the inside of the foot. That's throughout the entire lunge. I don't wanna put those unwanted pressures on the knee. Lunge, a turn, up again. Knee in line with the toes. Stay on our balance beam. More rep, you all. Good. And then that is our second set. Remember, our second exercise, those lateral lunges. Again, arms to the side, arms extended. Here we're stepping now. Dumbbells down, hips back, back to the middle. A few reps of those. Think about that point. Perfect. Make sure we keep the back nice and flat. Don't let those shoulders, both arms get pulled down by those dumbbells. Breathe out, come into the middle. Pushing the ground away. Coming back to the center. And set, first leg down. Same thing, other side, shake the legs out a little bit. Back to our starting position. Step out to the other side. Same principles apply. Inhale out, exhale as we come to the middle. Hips go back, dumbbells go down. Good. Nice and balanced, nice and controlled. Middle, good. Great reps here. Great lower body movement here. One final reps. And set, we'll set those dumbbells down. That concludes round two. Minute, minute and a half of rest. Then we get into our third and final. All right, everybody, we're here at our third round of the first block of exercises. We can celebrate back home there behind the camera. We have one more round to do. Okay, so we're back at our reverse lunge with that knee drive. Every five reps of the 20, I wanna make sure I hit on an important topic so you all can register and think about those as we're doing these exercises. So first we're gonna talk about posture and okay, maintaining alignment through the lunge and the knee drive. Straight line from the top of the head down to the ground for these first five reps. Almost there. 
So now for the next five, wants to focus on pushing the ground away from us with that right foot. You'll feel that in the glute, the butt muscles of that down leg. And feel that muscle really wake up, really lock into place. That's gonna help with some of that power production, that sprint portion of our movement there. That's the first 10, same thing, other side. Now again, next knee alignment for these five. Back, drive up, make sure that knee stays in line with the foot and ankle. One more time here. Nice, then the last five, we're just gonna focus on having fun with them. Back, and drive that ground away, but we'll put everything together. Down alignment, drive up, land, repeat. Drive up. Keeping that stability. And set. So with our lateral lunges, now same thing. Points of focus. First five, hinging the hips. What we're gonna do, step out. Knees bent, bend at the hips, push the butt back, back to the middle. Push, come back to the center. That's it, that's five. Now for these next five, breathing is the focus. Breathe in down, breathe out up. I want you to do it nice and loud so you can hear yourself. You can reassure yourself that you're breathing through these reps. Last two. One more breathing, out. Same thing on the other side. We did the hips, we did the breathing. Now we're gonna focus on the bend of the knee. Push back, bend that knee, lowering that weight closer to the ground, coming back to middle. Three. Come on guys, one more. And back. For these next five, we're gonna put everything together. Bending our knees and hips, push back behind us, breathing down, exhale up, keeping the back nice and flat. Oh, blending all those together. Finish and strong. Good. And that concludes our set. Set the dumbbells down to the side. We'll breathe, we'll recover, and then we'll get ready for the next set. Okay guys, we're back to the leg workout. We're going into our second set of exercises. First, we have a curtsy lunge, and then we also have a split squat. We will be using our dumbbells for that as well. So we'll grab those, and we'll start off with our curtsy lunges. Again, similar grip as we did with our lunge into the knee drive, feet together, we're gonna step back and across our body, and coming back to the top for the curtsy lunge. Notice the hip, my right hip will open up a little bit towards the side of the wall, we wanna keep the core braced, exhaling on the way up. Breathing down, breathe out up. Crossing the midline of the body, stepping over that invisible line that splits the body into left and right pieces. Down, breathe out up. They're strong, big chest, shoulders open, and adds the middle. Now we're going, same thing on the other side. Stepping back and across, and then up to the top. Crossing the line of the body, the middle line. Breathing down, up, tall posture. Imagine keeping eye contact with the wall the entire way down through these lunges. Dipping the knee down into the ground. Tapping into the floor is just fine. We just don't want to bounce. Up. And then finish, set those dumbbells down there for a brief second. Now the next one to get into are our split squats. So with the split squats, very similar to our lunge, just not moving constantly. Feet shoulder width. Now what we're gonna do is a little bit of a pivot. That's gonna help us get in alignment. Front foot flat, back foot, the heel is elevated. Again, big tall posture, make some small adjustments to the feet as needed. And again, dip down, breathe out coming up. This may sound familiar, straight line, top of the head, down to the ground, lowering ourselves down, breathing out, pushing ourselves up. 
Ray works, set a pace for yourself. Stay in line. Keep that knee in line with the foot. That again may sound familiar. One more rep. Nice job, guys. Set the feet. Again, same thing. Come back to the middle. Swivel the feet. Get in position. Make little adjustments. Same thing. Other side. Breathe in down. Come on up. Be in alignment with the foot. Breathe in down. Out up. Those shoulders open. Core tight. Feet set. Breathe in down. Pull those dumbbells up. One more time. And it will set. Same thing as our first round. Dumbbells to the side. Breathe it out. Shake it out. Then we're back to the rest. Okay, guys, we're back for round two. Again, starting off with our curtsy lunge. Let's grab those dumbbells. Get our feet set. Good grip on the dumbbell handles. Curtsy lunge, stepping back and across. Remember, bending the knee. Inhale down. Exhale up. Remember, we're crossing that midline with the leg, the moving leg. We should pretend you're drawing a big letter J or a comma as we're doing these. By really, really emphasizing that wraparound of the leg and adding a little bit of instability to it on purpose to help challenge those movements, challenging that exercise. Awesome. Now, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Remember, same principles apply. Step back and across, up to the top. Big space between both legs, both feet. So again, really, really accentuate that lunge. The effect of that lunge. Back, down, and up. Breathe in down, breathe out up. Pushing through that lead foot. Push through the heel. Finishing tall and strong. Putting those legs through the best possible rep they can get. Excellent. That's the curtsy lunge, both sides. Again, really, really creating space between both feet. Next, we're gonna get into the split squat. So again, we'll start shoulder width, swivel those feet. Right, again, small adjustments. We can assist ourselves with our balance by creating more space between the insides of the feet. Step that back foot to the outside a little bit. Makes our base a little bit wider. Now we're good to go. And on the reverse side, we want to challenge that stability. We can just close that distance between both feet. Here we go. And up. Straight line down. And up. On balance. Front foot is flat. Back for one of the toes. Keep it aligned. And set. That's the first leg. Same thing, other side. Wide stance. Turn those feet. Again, increase that space between the insides of the feet. Then we're good to go. Straight down. Then up. Knee in line with the toes. Good alignment. Nice relaxed shoulders. Nice tight core. Good strong breathing. Remember, we want to hear ourselves to really reassure that we're hitting those points. Great exercise here, guys. For that single leg. Bring the feet together. That's round two. Set those weights to the side. Recover. We have that one more time. All right, y'all, we have it here, our third round. Again, curtsy lunges and then our split squats. Let's go grab those dumbbells. For these curtsy lunges, 
All right, we're gonna focus on a few points here. So again, going back to what we already covered, step back, down, come back to the top. Nice and balanced. I want you to imagine, even though a lot of that focus is on the moving leg, I wanna make sure that stationary leg, we don't let that knee, again, cave in or wiggle too much. Dig that heel into the floor, keep it nice and grounded. Again, all that while focusing on that breathing point. Back, down, and up. Now also, keep that midsection tight as we're stepping, we're rotating on purpose. So again, there'll be a little bit of an added challenge there. Same thing other side, get yourself set up. Again, back, down. We'll continue on with that core focus. Again, as we're swinging that leg, we're opening up the hips. Make sure that we do our best to fight that excessive rotation. We don't want to open up all the way towards the side that the hip is over. All that is important. All that makes for a great curtsy lunge and for enhanced benefit of this movement. A few more reps. Good, one more time. And then set there. So that concludes the curtsy lunge. Now, split squat, final set. Back to our wide stance. Pivot, turn, get yourself set up. One dumbbell in each hand. Again, tracking the knee, straight down, and straight up. Keeping those feet a good distance apart. Staying on our balance beam. Breathing through it. Core stays braced to help keep us in a straight line on the way down. Staying in line in position one more time. And set, step those feet back in. Same thing, other side. Nice wide base. Pivot those feet. Breathing deeply, breathing hard. Again, emphasize that breathing. Straight line down, driving up. Breathing through it. And finding a spot on the wall that we can lock into. And remember, those feet, the distance of the insides of the feet, our key in balance, closer in for less balance, further away for more. Keeping it tall, guys. Good, one more rep. Driving up, set those feet down. There we have it, set those dumbbells to the side. Pat yourself on the back, clap your hands, get some water, and we have one more set left. All right, guys, we made it. We have our last set of our two exercises. We're going with a single leg RDL, and then also we're gonna be going with a single leg glute bridge, which will be down on the ground. For this, for the RDL, we'll need just one of our dumbbells, so feel free to leave the other one there to the ground. Here's how we're gonna get set up. We're gonna have the weight in the opposite hand as the foot that is grounded. What this is gonna do is add a little bit of an extra core challenge. It's gonna rotate us. So from here, soften the knee on the down leg. We can stick the free arm out to the side, and we're gonna kick our leg back slowly under control as we bring that dumbbell down. Look at it on the way down. And then file wood back all the way to the top. Nice right, so and easy. Yeah, and that leg should stay as close to the grounded leg as possible, the moving leg that is. Reach down with that dumbbell, come back up. Keep it at furthest, this dumbbell wants to be in line with the toes, right or the middle of the foot, between that range. There again, a lot of balance training here, and also a lot of hip on that grounded leg. Last rep, and then we'll switch. Switch hands, and it will switch feet also. Again, opposite hand, opposite foot. And stick that arm out, soften that knee, driving that free leg behind, coming back to the top. Focal point, follow it all the way down, follow it all the way back up. 
And as all our other exercises, breathing down, exhale on the way up. You can emphasize that. You want to hear that breathing. Good, that leg again, the reaching leg, go straight back. The stationary legs stays just there. In place. Heel that left leg, stabilizing us, keeping us grounded. Make sure we keep those hips from turning. Brace that core, set, and we'll set that dumbbell down to the side. The next exercise we have is a single leg glute bridge. We're gonna take ourselves down to the ground. If we have a mat, that's just fine. We're going to lay flat on our back, nice and relaxed. Arms up, palms facing the ceiling. We're gonna have one heel down with the toe pulled up. The right leg, the other leg is gonna be extended. We drive up, the hips to the ceiling, come down nice and soft. Push, breathe out on the push. Inhale at the bottom, repeat. Core stays braced, pushing the foot into the floor each time. And soft landing. Tight glute, tight core. They're working in tandem. Finish out strong. Again, keep that landing soft. Maintain control of that movement all the way. All right, last few reps, y'all. Drive and set. Now we'll do the same thing. On the other side, heel down, toe up. The heel should be below your knee, if not a little bit in front. That's a good range to keep the leg. Other free leg extends. Then we repeat, drive up, breathe out, come back down. Come back down, hear the breathing. Keep those hips in a straight line. When imagine your belt going straight up to the ceiling space above you. Breathe in and out. Rest, nice and easy. Drive that heel into the ground. Push that floor away from underneath you. Breathe, come now. Big breath in, big breath out. Each rep, finish it strong guys. Drive it up, come back down. We'll set both feet down, we'll sit up. That concludes the set, that is one round. As we did with the previous exercises, recover, rehydrate, and we'll get to the next. All right, here we are guys, recovered from our rest period. Now we're gonna get back into our single leg RDL. Again, grabbing that single dumbbell. So we're gonna set the right foot down, right foot stays down, left hand has the weight, soften that knee, arm out, there we go. Down, then up. Big key here with this RDL is to make sure that we pinch the shoulders back together, keep the back nice and flat, and down, and again, keeping that dumbbell between the toe and the middle of the foot. Nice and easy. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Switch sides, right hand, left foot, bend that knee, arm out to the side. Then come up, breathing down, out, on the way up. The hips bring the dumbbell to the ground. Perfect. Not shrugging, not overreaching, just hinging at the hips. That moving leg, reaching it to the space behind us, finishing on balance. Rinse and repeat there, guys. One more time. Balance. Strong break, get both feet under you. And set that weight to the side. Take it to the ground. So again, we're gonna get back, comfortable. Shoulders relaxed, palms up. Heel below the knee or a little bit in front. Other leg up, drive up, come back down, nice and soft. Breathe out on the lift. Breathe in at the bottom. Control. A lot of times, people will push through the Lower back and increase that arch in the lower back. We do not want that. We want us to be all glute, all core. Want to imagine a nice flat positioning from 
the start, the top of the shoulders, all the way down to the lower back. And then we'll rest down softly, switch legs. And again, we drive up through the hips, through the core, soft landing. Breathe in, breathe out. Want to make sure again, even that floating leg stays within the hips, not tracking outside to the left or to the right, right down the middle. Almost like we're tapping the toe to the ceiling. And soft landing. Finish out strong. Breathe harder if we need to. That's no problem. Drive those hips up. Come down. Rest the hips down. Both feet down. Sit up. That concludes set number two. Rest, rehydrate, and we have one more set. All right, all, we all made it to the very, very last set of the very last exercise. Our single leg RDL, grab those dumbbells. All right, last set, best set. So we're gonna set the foot down, bend that knee, arm out. We know the drill by now. Breathe in down, breathe out up. Now, some of the benefits of this exercise are a lot of things. We have some core training here, all right, to help stabilize the spine. We also have a lot of hip activation here on both sides, right? So on the stationary leg, that is keeping us rooted, grounded to the floor, and then the moving leg is adding an additional challenge to our stability. Think of it as changing our center of mass, pulling our body in the complete opposite direction while we're going through this motion. So that movement of that leg is great there. We'll finish out this last rep, keeping those points in mind and sweat. We'll switch hands and it will switch legs. Soften that knee. We'll get into it. Down, back again, same thing. The grounded leg, hip stability, the moving leg. We'll work in that glute. We'll feel that in that glute also, while also again, challenging our balance. While all of this is going on, be sure again to focus those eyes on a point, follow it all the way back up. Breathe in, exaggerate it. Just like all of our previous movements, breathe out, exaggerate it. Also, driving the leg back, coming back up to the top. Last rep, you all. Up, set, and it will put that dumbbell to the side. Our final set of glute bridges. Make your way down, nice and easy. Soft landing, but we'll get flat on the back. Arms to the side, we'll get set up. Now on these, we want to, again, focus on the hip of the down leg. If we even take a fingertip or two, tap that glute muscle, we can feel all the activity that it's doing there. That's for the extension part of our cycling phase, where we're pushing the pedal away from the handles of the bike. We can think of it that way. We'll get a lot of glute, a lot of hamstring there, really, really working that power in the downstroke. So again, think of that as we're doing this while also maintaining the stability, the alignment of this lifted leg. One more time, breathe, rest, and switch. Same thing, other side, drive up, come back down. Again, think of the extension of the leg as we push that pedal down towards the ground. Think of the glute, think of the hamstring working, but we primarily want it to come from the glute muscles. Again, give yourself a little tap. Feel those muscles working. Core stays braced. Come back down. Breathing stays going as well. Breathe out at the top. Inhale down. Set both legs down. That is our final set of our final exercise. We made it. Great job, you all. Now get ready to bike. So we can incorporate this program into our already existing biking program. This strength training will really, really benefit the endurance, the strength and the power of your lower leg, as well as the core and then those glute and hamstring muscles. This is very, very pivotal to our performance. This will enhance your performance overall and ultimately make you a better biker.